Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today we are looking at this, a black, no, we're not looking at this, we are in fact looking at a toy range created by Fisher Price in 2005. And it's these fellas. So they may look immediately like they're just really badly made toys that are kind of falling apart. But um, they aren't especially, they're just, uh, these are called Fusion Crew. And the main reason why they're called Fusion Crew is that they kind of come apart, like this, in two parts. And then you can take another one and you create an entirely different character. Which is pretty, you know, unique, I'd say, in a way. But um, yeah, unique. Definitely unique. And you see they've got these barcodes on the back and that kind of comes into play a little bit later on. You gotta focus camera. Anyway, yeah, so barcodes. Right, so let's put these back together. Now, this wasn't the only thing, This uh, like uh, these different characters. They also came with collector's cards. But these ones didn't because these ones were like this when I got them. Fortunately, I've also got an unopened pack. So let's get this open. It was also really ripped on the side, but fortunately nothing has come out of it. So here it comes. Oop. Blimey. That's going to take a bit more work to get those characters out, but let's have a look at the cards for now. So, here's the cards. And like the characters, the cards come in two parts. So you can kind of mix and match in the same way, which is sort of cool. And this card, which I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure there'll be a reason for it. So let's put those there. And... Uh, Little instruction manual, which just kind of tells you, well, basically what I told you a little earlier, which is that you mix them all together. There's quite a few of them in the collection. Um, I obviously have a very small amount of these, uh, but they've, yeah, they're kind of separated into different types, so monsters, animals, space, and elements. So, an interesting toy on its own. This whole idea of uh, being able to kind of mix and match them. But that's not all. It also came, or at least it was also able to get this, which is a giant playset. Now, we have to mess around with the camera so we can fit that in. You see the Vectrex next to us there. So, yeah, so a giant playset. So what could you do with this playset, I hear you ask? Well, it's actually kind of cool. I've got to say, I do kind of like this. I've played with it already to make sure it all worked, obviously, because it would have been embarrassing to turn it on and nothing happening. So it's a game, and what we do is we turn it on, there's a little switch down here. Oh, right, anyway, so we push this button to start it. Right, so you see there, that's kind of the zones you play in. And, uh, oh, well. Well, you will see it when it lights up properly. So generally what we do is we put two different parts of a character. We'll put the same parts and we put them in here. And then we do this. So here, underneath here, there's a little barcode reader which reads this. So now we do the blue team, we do it the same way, where we have 
I mean, we don't have to do this, we could just put it in the middle immediately, but hey. Cannot recognize try again. Okay, this happens occasionally, we'll just try again. So obviously, all of these figures must be built into the machine to recognise it. And if you do a mix, well, I'll show you later with a mix and match. But yeah, so if we close this, now what's supposed to happen is the two players then kind of hammer these. So now, because this guy over here, Bad Rap 1, we move this slide towards him, and the other guy drops in and falls out the bottom. Remove the heroes from the fusion door. Right, so now let's do one where, and as you can see, look, we've got that light up here to show that this guy has won one. Right, so this time, We'll do a, a combination. I mean, it doesn't really work. But you know, they... Right, so we're just gonna put it on like this rather than doing it apart. And fire that. Try again. Cannot recognize figure. Try again. Blimey. All right, maybe we need to give this a bit of a wash. But let's try that again. Red team. Ah, there we go. There you go. So using the barcode, it has worked out what that is called. And so we'll do this one. Actually, the most times it's failed since I've tried it. Okay. Oh, blimey. Right. There we go. <laughs> I like it. I like that it's got the different pronunciations for each part. So there you go. Now what would, what happens basically is you have to uh, light up all of these lights, so one in each zone. Now because the actual like map it chooses is random, you can basically be playing this forever. We're kind of lucky that the first two were two different maps. It can, it can continuously choose the same one. So yeah. Let me just shut it up. I mean, yeah, it's it's kind of an interesting toy. Uh, yeah, I think if I'd have been the right age range for this when it came out, which is the free plus area of things, it would have been an interesting enough game because you've got the whole thing with the taking the characters and making different versions of them with that. And the characters themselves are quite nice, even though they don't really fit together that well. And I mean, even the, 
the kind of unboxed one, they're not perfect. They're, there's definitely some like gaps in there. They're still pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of different characters as well. I think actually that's part of part of this whole thing with the random map selection where you have to keep using different characters to win entirely. I think that's maybe a little way to try and get parents to buy as many of these as possible. Because you imagine if you lose with a set, they're probably out of the game, I assume. I haven't really read the instructions. Then uh, to actually like win one with the random map selection and stuff, uh, you need quite a few sets. So uh, yeah, that's probably a little way to get parents to buy new ones. But that's yeah, an interesting game. It's uh, There's quite a lot of interactivity with it. The whole reading out the names using the barcodes is pretty cool, although it fails a little a little bit. Um, this is literally the most it failed. I tried this uh, when I first got it and it, it picked up most of them. So I think there's just maybe well, there's one here that the barcode is not reading properly. Yeah, but overall, interesting toy. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit like. If you really liked the video, please subscribe. If you didn't like it or you have a comment, then put something below and let us know. See you on the next video. Bye.